It's a Vampirina Friday the 13th Christmas. Coming up after this. Uh, Vampirina Christmas Day 13. <laughs> it's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. So, Vampirina figures. I have a huge collection of them. I buy all the single packs. I actually, you can't hear me with that mask on. Whoa! Happy Friday the 13th to you. I don't think I'm going to open the bus, guys. I think it's just too big for me to store in my home. I don't know if I have enough time to fill this video. I thought about opening up this awesome Monster High package, too. But I think that's just going to be too many things. We've also got this awesome little people advent calendar that we're going to open up at the end of the video and it's day 13 friday the 13th of december we need to look at all of these single figures that i have and their pets which i didn't do the proper review for either i think i just opened them when i was staying in la but i think i bought all of the missing packets that i didn't have i think they do like to repeat themselves here are the ones that were available. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So some of them do repeat themselves. So you never know. But they have different pets in them. I've never seen the show. I'm sure it's awesome. Is it still on the air? Maybe it's not even on the air anymore. These are made by Just Play. So apparently she's into music and is in a band or something because there's always these lots of musician characters in, in different states of dress. So, I mean, she's cute on a guitar. This one, cute on a guitar. The ones that came in the music pack, which are her and the, this drummer, they have limited articulation. I think they just have arm movement and then their legs don't move. That was kind of a... Uh, disappointment. Oh, and here's the other famous band member, and she's like a pumpkin girl. She's playing guitar. And then I got some scooters here. Double pets. I got a, two scooter trailers or skateboards. Oh yeah, and I do have them in skateboarding equipment, two of the girls. I've got doubles of this character, and I think he is probably a very famous character. I got a ghost, a clear kitty that I know came with this girl, and then, oh, and then there's this girl, and then there's the scooter, I didn't show that already, and there's three vampirinas, did I just forget her name, the vampirina, whoops. Three different versions of her. And then this is my favorite thing of all. There's a voodoo dolly. I guess it's a voodoo dolly. It's cute and creepy. Wait, is it one of the characters from the band? Yes, it is. It's a doll of this girl. That is so cool. I didn't realize that until now, I don't think. All right, so we have two other vampirinas to open. Those two. And then we get two different new animal sidekicks. That's the best part. And then we get two recolors of her friends. One in pajamas and one is ready for the beach. Which is weird because we didn't get any of the other characters in beach attire or bed attire. So I don't really get that. Yeah, see, the one that goes with this one is the bed attire. And it says on, shows on the back of this. Are these the two same Vampirinas? No, and then they show each of these girls, but then they show two different Vampirinas. And I think one was a reissue, so that's why I didn't have to get it. But this one is new, because we have the one with the backpack and this floppy dog. Can I open them? Can I just open them already? Let's open up a Vampirina first. 
And do I have my glasses? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, she's got on her rock stance. We've gotten her in rock stance before. But this time she comes with, I believe it is a haunted microphone with bat wings. Kind of looks like an ice cream too. But I figure she is actually playing in the band. And does this fit in her hand? Because there seems to be a hand holding area. But I also cannot seem to get her finger squeezed into it. Well, barely. Maybe. Maybe I think I can. Hold on. I did there for a second. Can't get her pinky in. But I did squeeze the tips of some of her fingers into it. See how her pinky sticking out? So that works. Cute. What's she wearing? I guess she's kind of glittery. She can sit down, but her legs move together. And see how the sleeve's at the top of her arm when she's got her finger up? So when you move it, the sleeve moves down too, which looks kind of weird. But that's okay. And her head, of course, turns. And her pigtails look like bats, too, because she's a bat baby. Let's just collect them all in the box. This is Vampirina and Buttons. So this would be Buttons. That's Buttons Bum. And I think there's play sets that you can put these on and they light up. You can definitely see there's like some kind of something in there. And I think it's just going to reflect the light well. I think that's what happens. Unless there's more going on in there than I think. And then, wait, oh. And then we open up another package. So let's open up one of the other girls. This girl was really rare, and you could only get her in a multi-pack. Now, I didn't ever get the multi-pack of different characters because I kind of have most of them from these single packs and the parents are in there but the parents aren't made in the same way they look like they don't even belong i think they like have hollow plastic bodies with really limited articulation so they're not the same thing now she has leg movements each leg moves separately that's unique to her and she definitely has pajamas on and do you know what I like most about these pajamas? Well, I don't know if it's most. I just find it peculiar. Like, I thought she had, like, a prison number on her back. Look at that. She's got the, that's where they put the code. And it just says... It just says Disney on there. And I can't make out what is in the middle of that sunflower. Can you see what that is? Because I can't tell what that is. Hummingbirds or something? I don't know, they're cute pajamas, and her face is cute. She looks really nerdy, and being nerdy is awesome. Believe me, I know. And she comes with this very strange little creature who looks very bashful. Oh, it has sparkly bows in its... Would you call that hair? I don't know. And then that's what its bum looks like. And do you see how its knee is bent in like that? That's what makes me feel it's shy and it's hugging itself. Is that a smile? Weird. And that you can put on a translucent glow-in-the-dark feature, but because there's no peg in the bottom, but it looks like it would glow if you could because every, all the pet seems to be translucent all the time. There's something else in her set. Or was this the Vampirina set? No, this is this set. That's awesome. It comes with two Bridget and Madalena. Bridget, and this must be Madeline, Madalita, Madali, Matilda. Oh my goodness, I can't read. It's Matilda. <laughs> Madalita. Matilda. And then I don't know why this thing doesn't have a name. It's just this translucent kitty. Do you think it's the same kitty as this kitty? They're both pink. They both came with her. They don't look anything alike. Funny how that doesn't even have paint on its face. Bizarre. 
Okay, let's open up another one of these. Hey, how come... Oh, she did get another accessory. I was wondering why we got we didn't get two accessories with the first Vampirina, but we did. I forgot about the microphone. Okay, what's up? I don't have like a platform that I can display. I don't have anything ready for you to look at stuff. Should I try to rig something up really quickly? That's probably a good idea. Let's do that. There we go. Oh my. My videos always take much longer than I think they're going to. Uh oh, I lost them all. Now I don't know where the new, the new ones are. Oh, she's top heavy. Oh, I like how her toes point together. Okay, here we go. Bedtime girl. Funny looking pets. This thing is new. I'm afraid those guys are going to have to stand on the side. They're standing up nice. That's cool. That's cute. That's cute. This is um, Phoebe and Vampirina. Phoebe the cat is what it says in the box. And she's got a very sparkly hat and a ball. Cute. And a peg on the bottom so she can glow in the dark. Or glow, or whatever they do. Then this vampirina is dressed up like either a princess or a maid. Maybe a ballerina, because look at her hands. But she also looked like she could be dressed as a French maid. And no, I think she's... Oh, I can tell by her slippers that she is a ballerina. That's cute. And it looks like she was really good. Wait, do her legs bend? Her legs still bend, even though she's a ballerina. Together. She was good because she was given this prize. Isn't it awesome how all of these things are translucent? And it's a bunch of roses, and they're in translucent green plastic. I don't know, what do you call the casing of flowers? Wrapping? Cute. Oh yeah, that's cute. That works out. This is working out very well. We got one more pack. It's beach day now. And this is Poppy and Sandcastle. <laughs> Except Sandcastle isn't a person. I don't know. I haven't seen it. Maybe the Sandcastle talks. This it's a really good looking sandcastle. Like it looks like it's a sandcastle. It doesn't have a pegged glow in the dark, but it does have two sparkly appendages. They put a bat and a flag on this castle. And she comes with the most accessories. Oh, but I won't show you that until I get her out, Poppy out. because then I can put them in her hand and really show you. And there she is in her beach wear. She still has her headband on and a bracelet. And then there's her prison number and her legs. Whoa! Move indiv independently too. Which is always a surprise because all these figures seem to have different articulation. I do usually like when a toy line all have the same kind of things in common. And when you move her arm like that, she's in a very awkward pose. But she does come with two accessories. And the two accessories are as follows. A little shovel or spade for her to dig in the sand. That is really cute and fits in her hand very nicely. And then I'm not sure how this is going to fit in her hand, but we'll check it out and see. Oh, maybe that. Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Maybe that didn't work out too well. To figure out how to make. Oh, whoa! Maybe if I do it like this. Oh, yeah, that's 
that's more bound to stay. If she's holding it behind her back, you can see. I think they put a little bit of sparkly sparkle in the sand that's in the bucket to make it look like sand. She's carrying it over her shoulder because it's heavy. But that's in... Well, no, that's not an interesting accessory. That makes sense that you would have a shovel and a bucket for building sandcastles. Cute. But I don't understand why she has shoes on. Having shoes at the beach is not fun. But maybe she's just on her way there. And she balances. Look at the detail in her hair. Very, very intricate hairstyle that she was given. All right, that is, that's it. That's what we get. Those are the Vampirinas. It's a very spooky Friday the 13th Christmas edition. Stay tuned at the end. After these messages, we're going to take a look at what we get for day 13 in the Little People calendar. Let me know which one was your favorite today, and i um, see you tomorrow. Or after this. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. All right, it is day 13. Here, do you just want to sit down? I think she's had too much sun. She's really dizzy. Got to get her some water. Just, just rest up there against the sandcastle there, Poppy. Did I make a lot of mess? I kind of have a mess going on, but you, you can't really see. Let's get this house out of the way. Good. Hide that. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Day 13. Do we know where it is? Yesterday we got a table, and the two days before that we got chairs. So they were all sitting down comfortably. I'll show you that in a second. But day 13 is right here, and we're going in. And I was going to say, I have no idea what we're going to get. Is it going to be a figure? Is it going to be... This I did not expect to get. I would have expected to get this on, let's say, day 23. Did I open the right window? Yeah, day 13. Day 13, we get Santa Claus's, Santa Claus's presents. You believe we got the presents early? Look at that, a car, a teddy bear, a ball, a present. It's completely hollow, though. It's fake. Those presents aren't even in there. How disappointing is that? Let's move this stuff out of the way. Let's set that, let's set that right here. And let's, let's take a look and see what's going on. I'm going to just show you the table we got. See if you can put the presents on top of the table. Kind of. Can ya? Can ya? No? If you want to see what this table does, you have to go watch yesterday's video. It's really cool. And then we're going to just pull up two chairs here for Rusty. No, we're pulling them up for these two guys. And they're going to sit down and uh, ponder if they're going to open up the presents early. Or are they going to wait until Christmas? Are you going to wait until Christmas to open up all your presents? I've been opening mine ever since the 1st of December. Happy Friday the 13th. Whoa, 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 whoa.